first block that we're going to talk about is a catch block. So from our defensive stance or our fighting stance, if you recall, I said that your right hand is going to be open at the chin. Essentially, I'm trying to create a barrier between whatever strike is coming and my chin. So my elbows are tucked in, hand open at the chin, chin tucked down, shoulders are up. Essentially, the jab or the cross is coming towards the chin. I'm simply going to catch it and knock it down this way here. One of the things you want to avoid is bringing this hand down too far and then leaving yourself exposed. So from this position, I'm just knocking it from here. And of course, I could block and counter with a jab. Block and counter with our jab. But ensuring that this hand stays open at the chin, elbows tucked into the body. The next block we're going to talk about is a high forearm block. So this could be somebody that's slapping you to the side of the head, either side, or it could be a hook punch. So essentially, again, we're in our defensive stance and our high forearm block. This time we're going to use our front hand to begin with. The hand comes out this way here. I want to turn the forearm forward, palm to the front in my fist, here and back. I also want to make sure that I'm not just bringing my hand up, but this is nice and strong, almost like I'm meeting the impact or I'm striking whatever is coming towards me. So from this position, and if I was doing the other side, now I also want to turn the hip. So instead of just doing this, turn the hip into that strike. That's our high forearm block. The next block we're going to talk about is a downward palm block. So this might be something that is attacking to the body, could be a, uh, a punch, could be a side kick, and essentially I'm just knocking from here, knocking this down. Now the one thing I want you to try and remember as you're doing your downward palm block is to shift the hips back. So from this angle, I would be here, just shifting our hips back, and as I shift the hip back, I take my front leg and I slightly move it back. The idea is that if I miss, my body stays here, I get hit. So I wanna make sure that I'm creating a little bit more distance between my uh, lower body and the kick or the punch that is coming in. Now if I use the other hand, same idea, although my front hand this time stays up. One here. And again, this could be used to counter. Front hand, rear hand, downward palm block. The next block we're going to talk about is a thigh block. So this is somebody that is attacking the outside of your front leg, kicking the outside of your front leg. So from this position, I'm simply going to bring my knee up, almost like I'm trying to execute a front kick, knee up. Now. The other thing I want you to think about is maybe the kick is coming here, but maybe they're faking and the kick is going to come to the side of the head. So from this position, I want you to think about bringing the knee up, connecting with that front elbow, and the hand protects the side of the head. The other piece that we can do is as we're doing this, is using our leg to knock their leg off to the side. So here, it's almost like I'm checking that leg as well. So from this position, moving that leg out. The next block we're going to talk about is an X block. So from our defensive stance, this time we're blocking this way. And what I want you to think about is if it's something that's coming overhead, we want to go and meet it. So before all the momentum of that strike is coming in, we're going to drive forward and meet it. So rather than just staying here and blocking, we're going to slightly push and block at the top. Downward X block, maybe something is kicking to the groin. And again, we're going to shift our hips back much like we did with the downward palm block. Shift here. Up X block. Down X block. Those are the blocks.